In a place like this, you can let go of whatever weighs you down and fill your lungs with the joy of being outside. On America Outdoors, I bring a perspective of a 40-something-year-old American who engages with this country in a number of different levels. And this opportunity to leave my house, to get in touch with nature and with people who are in touch with nature, it turned out to be one of the best things I could do with my time. This is many shows in one. It's a climate show. It's a kind of a politics show. It's an economics and gentrification and show about change. And it's a show about whose land we're on and a show of history. Once you get out, it's just puts you in tune to things that we haven't been in for a long, long time. The types of Americans who are engaging with the outdoors is as vast as the type of people who live in this country. And I'm really proud of the fact that we're showcasing folks of various abilities, ethnicities, ages, people thriving and connecting, all who have this common ground of the literal common ground beneath our feet. It's really, really beautiful. There are many challenges in making this series. You may have heard that we are in a once in a century pandemic. That was challenging. We breathed in smoky fires and we walked across dry beds and we weren't able to witness a salmon fishing journey because the salmon were cooked by their own river. And that was physically hard, but it was actually emotionally hard to feel our country, our environment, and our planet buckling under the weight of us. So many of us are living disconnected from the natural world. We get so much bad news and so much negativity and so much this, we don't have this, we don't have that. And this show showed me that the people themselves are ready to be so much more. And they're doing it in beautiful ways. I'm really proud to be a part of a storytelling effort that shows that part of America in literally a new life.